All right, hello there you guys. Girl Eunice is back, woo -hoo. So today we're gonna to be doing a review, a very thorough review on these silicone makeup sponges. Now I have been hearing a lot about these and I wanted to get my hands on them initially but I was like oh, I'll kind of I don't really need them at that time but now I'm like venturing out I really want to try some new makeup products so I got my hand on these from Amazon and I think they were like were they like $9.99 somewhere around there I'll leave links of course down below this is the IB um makeup ease easier makeup easier that's what it says on the back <laughs> and there are two in here so there are two uh silicone sponges looks a little something like this yes and i mean the feeling of them is kind of addicting too it's like you just want to just like push it and press it and press it like the it's kind of addicting but this is what it looks like all right so how i'm going to use this is that on one side of my face i'm going to apply liquid stuff so i'm going to get liquid stuff so i'm going to use a liquid foundation along with more of a water-based concealer and then on this side i'm going to use thicker um consistency i'm going to use a thicker um a thicker foundation and a creamer um concealer so we're going to start on the lovely right side and for the right side i'm going to use the fenty beauty um foundation paired along with my wet n wild uh photo focus correcting concealer and i have links to reviews as well on those so i'll leave them down below i'm quite curious does this have like any promises i don't know if this has any promises it just says it just says uh it just says save makeup foundation with few drops only every time like there's no details on this product really but I, I can kind of I'll put everything down below um, because you know I can research it and figure out what they all promise but I didn't think of that but this product doesn't have any type of um, you know like what it's all about on it, it just yeah all right so I put a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand and then I guess, how do you, do I use it this way or do I use it this way? Like, do I use it this way or do I use it this way? Or does it matter? Okay, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a little bit off the back of my hand like I usually do. And I'm going to place it onto my face. I need my mirror. Um, like, I'm looking at my hand like my hand is a mirror. Like Eunice girl. I'm gonna just place it on my face like so. Then I'm gonna take the silicone sponge and we're going to test this bad boy out. So I'm just pretty much gonna press it into the skin, you know? Okay. You definitely don't need a lot of this, um, of your foundation. Uh, you can probably actually end up wasting foundation this is really weird though oh my goodness it's really weird okay so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm just going to press this into the face i don't know i'm like could i smooth it out like this no mm -mm. don't do this or don't do this that just moves it around i would say press it into the skin okay this is really weird girl okay so let's just blend this i'm just pressing it into the face uh, mm. all right that was definitely interesting um i don't know about that one okay uh i don't know it just seems like it really didn't do much. I mean, it put the foundation on my face, but I don't feel like it blended it out very well. There's no product left on the sponge, which is great. That means it uses all the product, but I just don't feel like it thoroughly like blended out at least the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. If y'all hear noise, they're doing construction next door. It never stops 
but it really didn't it really didn't do much for that one like as you guys can see I mean I'm just pressing it into the skin or dabbling it into the skin and mm, it's not really bad it's not like super bad but I think it could be blended a little bit better all right so now I'm gonna go on my wet n wild concealer and I'm going to apply my concealer under my eye I'm just curious on how this will work with concealers as well and that is in the uh, wet n wild photo focus in light medium beige and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it again and I am going to dabble it under the eye and actually around the eye too just to just use a product in case it's just a little bit too much like y'all I promise you I don't even know what I'm doing I'm like smearing it or smudging it doesn't work so it's best to dabble it like not dabble it I think it's best to like press it into the face not bad with the concealer though not bad at all okay hmm so and there's a little bit of product left on here so you know it seems like there was a little bit of product left behind so now we're going to move over to this side of my face i am going to actually turn the sponge over to the other side i was using this side i'm going to use this side because i'm quite curious if it matters um i'm just quite curious if it matters on if you use a different side or not so now for this side i'm going to use a thicker foundation this is going to be my milani's um two in one perfect and conceal this is a thicker foundation a thicker consistency i'm not trying to apply too much but this is a little bit thicker than the other one. Oh yeah that shit did not okay so we're gonna go in with the other side of the sponge i just want to i just want to test it out to see if the other side of the sponge makes a difference all right so using the other side i'm going to do the same thing and i'm just going to press it into my face i'm pressing it into the skin uh, 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 uh. Uh, I would say you might want to be careful how much product you use with this stuff because or you have to make sure that you really now let me see what if I smear it a little bit like what if I like instead of dabbling it what if I smear it oh okay oh uh, it just still doesn't really work though like I don't really think it works that well when you smear it you have to kind of like press it into the face. Okay, and I probably use a little bit too much foundation, but let's see. Did it really make a difference using the other side of the sponge? Not really. Like, I'm not gonna say this gave me like amazing results. I would say I got better results with the Milani foundation than I got with the um, Rihanna foundation, the water-based. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm about to show you guys this and you guys are going to see a difference. Yeah. Okay. So we're now going to go ahead and we're going to conceal. I'm going to use Wet n Wild's um, concealer makeup stick. <clears throat> and this is in the color. What color is this? You're a natural. It's a thicker consistency. I'm gonna apply it right underneath the eye area. And then I'm gonna use the same thing. And this one actually left behind some of the product. So I'm gonna use the same sponge and I'm going to just press it in to the eye area. Because I just feel like pressing it in works better with the sponge. Like if you try to smudge everything like wipe like this it just doesn't make any sense like the sponge will just wipe everything away so the best way to use this i feel is to tap it into the skin like so okay all right i think i have my final review on this bad boy so let's talk about it i don't even have to go any further with this i'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see me um let me bring you guys down a little bit all right, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, all right? Um, not a big fan of this. Not at all. Um, I think, okay, so if you see this side, 
it's just real patchy real sickly looking like there's nothing going on over here like this blending and all that y'all I just it's not it's not popping off like my skin looks real patchy like there that blending on that side and I look sick like that's a no-go the Milani side is a little bit better but it still just does not have a fluid like with a brush like it doesn't look as smooth and it just looks like it just looks patchy to me like my it just looks like it's just sitting on the skin it's not thoroughly blended I could I could have got better results with my freaking fingers like honestly um I am not a fan of it I'm not a fan of the silly sponge or the silicone sponge um I know that there are different types of sponges out there that they use but this one my dear is a no-go for me I wonder if like maybe it can be used for probably smaller areas but like just you can't do anything if you rub it into the skin like this it makes all your makeup smear all over your face if you push it in like this like I believe you're supposed to use it it doesn't seem like it does much like and it, I, I don't feel like the product is actually on in the skin or it's not blended or adhered to the skin I feel like it's just sitting on top of the skin and even with my finger you can move it around like it's not even set like it looks horrible oh my gosh do you guys see this like this is horrible around my mouth it's not even blended oh my god yo like I've never had such a bad application when it comes to freaking foundation like yeah no I'm so not a not a fan sorry you guys but that is going to be a thumbs down for me definitely won't be rebuying or continuing to use this freaking sucks all right if you guys have used a silly sponge or the silicone sorry if you guys have used a silicone sponge let me know down below did you like it did you hate it i'm gonna go wash my face now and put on my makeup the way that i like it and so yes <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this is your girl Eunice marie make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in a later video bye